Welcome back to the Inspire Getting Started video series. In this video, we'll look at how to use Inspire Sketch and Geometry tools to easily create a model for a bike crank, like the one on this bike, from scratch. We will need to create a few different sketches. The first sketch will look like this. Before we get started, let's create a new sketch plane. Open the Geometry ribbon and click the Reference Planes tool. Click on the Y plane and in the Micro dialog, enter 76 mm. Now, in the Sketch ribbon, click New Sketch and click on the plane you just created. Select the Polyline tool. Begin drawing the basic shape of Sketch 1. Press the Shift key to switch to the Art Creation mode with the Polyline tool. Don't worry about exact dimensions and angles right now, as they will be defined later. Align both arc centers to the x-axis. Center the larger arc at the origin. Select points, lines, or arcs, and right-click to view a context menu with appropriate constraints. Now, we need to constrain the sketch. Select the Dimensions tool. Then, add a dimension to the larger arc by clicking on the arc and entering 25 mm. Then, set the other arc's radius to 18 mm. Define the length between the center of both arcs as 170 mm. Notice the sketch is now outlined in black, indicating that it is fully defined. Finally, we just need to draw a concentric circle about the center of the smaller arc. Set the circle's diameter to 14 mm. That completes sketch 1. We now need to draw sketch 2, which looks like this. We'll start by creating a new reference plane. Open the Geometry ribbon and click on the Reference Axes tool. In the guide bar, choose through two points. Click on the centers of the first sketch's arcs to create a reference axis through the middle of the first sketch. Then, select the Reference Planes tool. In the guide bar, select at an angle. Click on Plane 1 and Axis 1. In the Micro dialog, enter 90 degrees. Hide Plane 1 by clicking on the Show Hide icon in the Model Browser. In the Sketch ribbon, select New Sketch and click on Plane 2. Then, select the Intersect tool. Click on Sketch 1 to intersect it onto Sketch 2. Use the Polyline tool to draw the basic shape of Sketch 2. Remember that pressing the Shift key toggles between arcs and lines. Right-click on the top and far right sides to add horizontal and vertical constraints to the sketch. Now, use the Dimensions tool to constrain the sketch. The far left vertical side should be 20 mm. The side that is perpendicular to that side on the top is 50 mm. The far right vertical side is 15 mm. The arc on the top should be 90 mm. The distance between here and sketch 1 is 10 mm. Next, use the fillet tool to add a fillet to the lower right vertex of this lower arc. Set it to 50 mm. Make the radius of the other portion of that arc 80 mm. The side directly to the left of that is 35 mm. Sketch 2 is now fully defined. The last step is to turn these two sketches into one 3D model. In the Geometry ribbon, select the Extrude tool. In the Guide panel, select Single, Normal, and New Part. Then, click Sketch 1 and enter 31 mm in the Micro dialog. Now, select Intersect and Symmetry in the Extrude Guide panel. Then, click Sketch 2, enter 32 mm in the Micro dialog, and press the Apply button. We just need to create the last hole. In the sketch ribbon, create a new sketch on the face of the crank that will connect to the gear and chain. Sketch a circle around the center and define the diameter as 24 mm. In the geometry ribbon, select the extrude tool. In the guide panel, under result, select the subtract icon. Click the newly created sketch and drag the arrows in both directions until the cylinder clears both sides of the model. Press the Apply button in the Micro Dialog to create the last hole in the design. Your bike crank is now complete and ready for analysis.